One thing to mention is that you should probably. Whoops. Well, I didn't mean I didn't mean that to happen. Hi guys, how are you all doing? This is the Red Zone Ninja here, and today I have another amazing concept slash idea for you. Now, if you have been building for quite some time, then you may have at one time or another wanted to build a rope bridge and found that it's pretty much impossible and resorted to just putting one with fences around the edge instead. Well, that's a bit amateur. So, if you're a map maker like me and you want to have some cool rope bridge that's not made of fences and instead is made of leashes, as the item frame over there suggests, well then this is how you do it. But before I show you how it all works, I just want to show you what it looks like. Ta-da! As you can see, it's all very nice. We have the, the leashes. We can't just walk through it, and that is because there are barrier blocks there, as you may have guessed. Pretty simple thing. Actually, I might be able to improve it on camera here. Uh, no, I can't. Can I? No, I can't. The barriers are there, as you can see, and that prevents people from walking off. And the leashes provide a quite nice aesthetic feature it's a bit it's a bit weird because you can just walk straight through them but I think it's um, pretty good it serves its purpose of being a rope bridge but without further ado let's just get right on to the tutorial on how to build a rope bridge in vanilla minecraft okay so there may be a number of you who switched off at around three seconds into the video because you have no idea what this thing is well the reason this item frame is suspended is because it is on an invisible barrier block. These floating name tags are simply custom named directionless um, river skulls, which are by nature invisible and don't move. This is a minecart with a projected display being constantly teleported rotationally by 2 degrees, which gives the effect that the command block is rotating. Okay, so now that I've explained that, you may have no idea what I'm on about. In which case, I will do a video about this shortly, but not today. Today, we're going to be doing this thing. And how does it work, you may ask? Well, it's actually pretty simple, and you may have already guessed. If I just do... So now, I've just got to wait. Okay, here they are. It's basically just, at each fence post, there are two pigs. One pig to leash... Um, well, in each of the middle fence posts there are two pigs. Uh, these ones just have one. That's to leash the pig to there. In the two, in the two on this one, wants to leash one pig to there, and you want to leash that pig to this fence post. So, all you got to do to do this. Now, I suggest putting blocks above here because fences are one point five blocks tall, not one block tall as some people think. The 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 point five block. That, uh, that's above is actually invisible and it's why you can't jump over. It's like there's an invisible half slab on top of a block. Why did I do that? I should have destroyed the block, not the fence. So what I would suggest is putting blocks above each of these just to make the commands easier. So all you want to do is go over to your first corner fence post onto the top of the block and type in this very very long but quite simple command slash summon pig Til ooh. Pig, tilde tilde, minus two tilde. And then we're going to open up some data value brackets, things, and we're going to say, I want this pig to be silent. We're going to give it a silent tag of one, which is true, zero is false, but we're going to set it to one, because we want it to not make noise when it's invisible. I want it to be no AI, which basically means it doesn't wander around. And set that to one, which is also true. And one final tag invulnerable, so it doesn't suffocate inside the um, inside the fence there. And you can see we have ourselves a pig, but that's not enough. It's not enough pigs. We need more pigs. So get onto this one here and just do slash up up on the D pad and then enter to repeat the command. Uh, one thing to mention is that you should probably align yourself correctly, otherwise the leashes are going to end up all over the place. So what I mean by that is just get into the exact middle if you can, otherwise the leashes are going to look all weird. Okay, well, oh, don't want to do that again. Okay, so now that you have eight pigs in this arrangement, you should have just done one at each fence post. 
because now what we need to do is leash up the first set of pigs so just go into tools and here is lead actually it's not leash it's lead so you can start from the right hand side and go to the, go to the right or you can start from the left hand side and go to the right but I'm gonna start from the left hand side you got, or you can start from the right hand side and go to the left but I'm gonna start from the right hand side the left hand side and go to the right so if you want to keep things simple then just follow me you right click on the top of the fence post that's sticking out the pig's back barbarically and then it should hopefully leash the pig you can't do it from here I don't think you can reach you know the pigs in the way you have to do it from oh no I didn't want to kill it don't die please don't die oh it's invulnerable anyway isn't it just keep doing this and then what you want to do is replace the blocks on top of the middle four oh by the way you can spread these out a bit more you don't have to be this um, packed up and you can add more fence posts this is just a general idea and once again align yourself to the middle as best you can and summon in four more pigs try to best to get it in the middle because the closer you are to the middle the more accurate it's going to be you can do this with command blocks but I'm just showing you how to do it in the chat bar because it's a lot easier than putting up a, putting a com command block for every single pig right so now what you do you get these four ones in the middle you just right click track you can see that this sort of misaligned from each other because right you won't get it in exactly the same place, so this is impossible. And if it, if you did get it in the same place, then it would be impossible to differentiate the two pigs. So get the, the the last pig you just placed, right click on that one, uh, and then you should be able to leash that new pig. Mm. I've got it, yeah I've got it. Leash that new pig onto the fence in the opposite direction to the one you did the first time around. Now we're not done yet, so... You just bear with me. Almost done though. Uh, that one goes to there. Okay, so now you can see the leashes are kind of not aligned properly. They're sort of, mm, they're sort of a bit, mm, yeah, not very good. So what we're gonna do, assuming that you don't have any other pigs on the world, and it, if you don't, then I'll get to that in a minute. Just do slash tp at e type equals pig and if you have more pigs on the world that you're using for mechanics I don't know why you would use pigs for mechanics apart from in this situation but if you're using other stationary pigs then do oh, elsewhere in the world then do r equals 20 I suppose and that should that should you should be safe tilde tilde minus 0 0.1 tilde and you should see that now they are lined up correctly I just need to get them over in the right direction so the, the direction you want to teleport them in you can see I need to move these leashes left a bit so if you just look in the direction and it says towards negative Z in the F3 screen so what we're going to do we're going to do minus 0 0.1 on Z so get rid of minus 0 0.1 there and go to X Y Z minus 0 0.1 okay not quite in the right place yet, so let's just do that again. Not quite happy with that. Slash up, enter. There we go. Now, all we have to do is set up a small little fill clock, which of course is just fill tilde tilde 1 tilde, tilde tilde 1 tilde stone, and fill tilde tilde minus 1 tilde, tilde tilde minus 1 tilde redstone scott block. Put a redstone block in the middle. This one is not needed. That was for my little intro thing over there. This is the only command block you need. You just need the fill clock and effect at the type equals pig. Again, you can do r equals 30, something like this. r equals 30. If you've got more pigs on your world that you don't want to turn invisible, just do effect at e type equals pig invisibility. Make sure you spell this right because I kept spelling this wrong for some reason. 10, 10 seconds just to be safe and a magnifier of 255. I don't know if you can get a magnified version of invisibility but there you go and true to hide particles and you should see all the pigs are now invisible and we have ourselves a rope bridge now all that's left to do is uh, to give a key barrier and all that's left to do is just outline the edge of your rope bridge with barrier blocks and oh yeah th that may happen if that happens just use set block you know just stand in, stand in the block space I can't even do that 
Standing the blocks bear smooth, so set block tilde 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 barrier. And that should Yeah, it's because there's pigs in the way, so you can't place blocks where there are already entities, but you can set block blocks where there are entities, so just use set block instead. But basically that's it. I don't need to explain how to place blocks, do I? Even using the set block command it's pretty primitive. So there you go. That is how you do a rope bridge in Minecraft. A bit of an aesthetic video. It's not really useful for anything apart from just looking cool. And it does have a bit of glitches. I mean, that doesn't kind of line up. But it all depends on how accurate you are when you're summoning the pigs. You just have to be standing in the very centre of the block. But it, I suppose it adds a bit more of a, a natural feel to it, to be honest. It's not perfect. So, yeah. That's it. Really, of course, if you can think of better uses for leashes than rope bridges, then do type in the comment section below what you managed to make with leashes. Because you might have like a similar sort of concept to me, but used it for something else. I don't know, maybe use leashes to make rope ladders. Although I can't see how you would have done this. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of those, um, it, it reminds me of actually of a pier. You know, like at the sea. Sort of like that kind of style. But anyway, that's just my idea. If you did like this video, then be sure to leave a like, and if you have any suggestions for what I should build next, then do leave a comment with your suggestion in the comment section below. But apart from that, this has been the Redstone Ninja, and my work is done here.